the Town of Brookfield Selectman's meeting of Tuesday, June 6th, 2017. I would like you to uh, ri rise and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to entertain a motion to uh, approve the payroll warrant of 6617 for $165,456.99 and also to approve the expense warrant for 616, 6617 for $18,003.40. I have that motion. Second. Any discussion? Um, can I get a copy of it afterwards? Oh, sure. The detail. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All in favor? Aye. Oh, aye. Okay. And then I would also like um, a motion to entertain the emergency squad monthly report of May 2017. You have that motion? Second. I'll, I'll, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. aye. All right. Announcements tonight are Tyler Wolin, District A to Senator Ann Goby will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall from 2 to 3 p.m. Wednesday, March 21st, I mean June 21st. All are welcome. All right. <coughs> now we have public access. Does anyone have anything they'd like to say this evening? We got a question. Okay. Uh, could ask you on the side. Does anyone talk to Kathleen over there, making sure we've got uh, microphones, enough microphones for the town meeting on Friday? Oh. Well, when we, when we applied, um, I did write a little note to make sure that the microphones are in place. So, I mean, I, I'll call again, double check, but... Yeah, Should there be enough of them? So... Are you, how many requests? Well, I'm not, I'm just... It's not well, was it okay last time? I'm just... Question. I assume I'm it's just... going to be the same as last time. Was it, was it all right last time? Yeah. No. Yeah. We'll Two. check it out, Dave, okay. and we'll get Pretty standard. Too. They do the same yeah. thing. Everywhere. They do the same thing. All right, so, so you're going to choose. I'll double check to yeah. We'll yeah. double check, and, right. and Karen will get back to you. Okay, thanks. Okay, I'd like to have Bill Simpson come up for our discussion on the uh, breathalyzer, on the PSBC breathalyzer discussion. Good evening. Good evening, Bill. Good evening. Yes. Uh, when last we spoke, uh, I had mentioned that there was some funds left in the police station building committee mm -hmm. account to the tune of around nineteen thousand dollars. Some of that we've allocated for a couple additional cameras and, and monitors in the building. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the large purchase that we would like to make is for a breathalyzer for the station. It will be a permanent um, piece of equipment for the building. And uh, the total cost for that is eleven thousand nine hundred sixty-six dollars and sixty-seven cents. Eleven thousand. Could you read? Eleven thousand nine hundred sixty-six dollars and sixty-seven cents. Okay. Um, and it's a state price list, mm -hmm. so it's a Tuffle Masters state right. price list agreements. Um, so pretty much any vendor we go through will have the same pricing. Um, and um, I guess. Per our the agreement with the uh, select for any purchases of about seven thousand five hundred dollars, um, we for the police station building committee we bring them to the select yes. board for approval. Yeah. So okay. I guess I'm requesting that approval or further uh, for the discussion or questions. If there are any. Okay, I have one question. Uh, Peter O'Connell had brought up to me. He's from the capital improvement committee. He wanted to know if this was in your original plans, the breathalyzer, because he said if it wasn't, he feels that this should be brought up at a town meeting to get approval from the town. That was his question. It's a piece of equipment for the building. There is a budget for equipment in, in the budget. We, didn't, mm -hmm. we never at any point had the detail yeah. to that degree. Um, we didn't we list, never listed all the equipment that okay. we had to no but that was the question because peter was in one day and i was discussing that with him and he he just was just hoping just wondering if it was you know in the original list of um 
we never equipment that, that you needed. There was never a list that was that detailed. Yeah. I mean, we didn't okay. talk about every computer and monitor and yeah. security okay. camera. Okay. It was all just big block items. Okay. So right. It's a piece of equipment for the yeah. building. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And it's, an, and it's a need. It, it, it is so, a need. So I, I wouldn't, I, my, my recommendation is not to wait. Yeah. My, my comfort level comes from the fact that I think intentionally up front, we didn't itemize the furniture and equipment listing for that building specifically because we might have had to rob from it yeah. in order to mm -hmm. make the rest of the yeah. building happen. So I have a, a, a good comfort level where this is, um, clearly a need and in, and in talking I talked to the chief a little bit and I talked to Sergeant Pariso about it um, and what this piece of equipment will do for us is that our officers will be trained on our equipment mm -hmm. we won't be dependent on other yeah. communities yeah. to provide I overtime they gotta, officers. Yeah, they explain that to us when they come in before. Yeah it's it's a uh, it's it's good business sense from a standpoint of public safety. Well I would entertain oh. I'll make the motion. I like to entertain a motion that uh, we go ahead with the uh, breathalyzer. And now, were you going to get um, another quote, or is this what you're going to stay at? This is, uh, this is the state. Well, it's the state list, so okay. the state price is. We'll okay, well, I'll entertain a motion that we purchase. You have the motion. Yep. Second. Any discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So you want to sit up now for the next I'll, one on I'll the just agenda? Put this on a piece of paper. Okay, <laughs> this is on the town hall improvement committee. Yes. Discussion. So, with the town, the idea of the town hall improvement committee, um, we're sort of we've got a, a bit of a backlog of projects coming up for the town hall. We've, we've the town has allocated fifty thousand dollars to mm -hmm. renovate or fix a put a new bathroom in based on what we decide to do. Um, and also take care of all the accessibility on the first floor. And that money's been voted into place a couple of years ago now, and um, I think it would be appropriate to get a committee of people together to manage that project. Um, I agree, yes. and, and also, the second piece of that is the furnace purchase, um, because the money may be coming from the advisory board, but it would be still be mm -hmm. helpful to have a committee or a group to manage sure. the purchase and installation of that work so it's all done in a mm -hmm. timely manner before winter hits again. And I know that there was talk about doing the stair lift. I don't, is that going to be on the warrant? Or? Yeah, it is on the warrant, but well, I think we're, we're going to pass it over until the fall. Okay, so that committee would be in, in place at that time mm -hmm. to manage that project as well. So. So do you have people that want to be on the committee? There's been a couple people who've spoken okay. that they'd be interested. Um, I think it'd be, I think, do you have the... Uh, you know what, I meant to print a copy. Do you have, like, do you I, have I, letters, I don't have letters a, of the different people that would like to be what, on it? What I, I, until we establish the committee and then once we... Okay, now we, yeah, what, now what we What I can do is, is pull up um, a draft charter and we could vote on the charter. Um, and then once we have the charter in place, so the committee's in place, well, we could accept... Uh, instead of, you don't want to do it tonight. I mean, we're, we've got quite a few things we have to discuss. Yeah, you could we'll just do it. You know, draw, uh, draw up the draft charter, and then when we meet again okay. in, two, yeah. in two weeks, then we'll have the charter, and then you can probably have some different should, names. Should I seek up some, have some people submit in letters? Yes, yeah, have people interim. submit letters that want to go on to the committee. So I'll try to get um, at least, because I think we were talking maybe a five-person board. Yes. Try to get yes. them. Five okay. people, five five people, people and get letters yeah. from so them. So we'll this is in. an invitation that goes out publicly. So yes. if people yep. are interested in yes. serving on such committee, um, please send a letter to the All town right. hall. Okay. Um, but I know there are a couple of people who have said that they'd be interested. So yeah. because you know, my right now with you know we've had like you, you just mentioned with the fifty thousand that we've had around for a couple of years now, there is a need. I think we have to fix and make um, the present bathroom bathroom that we have it has to be handicap accessible and we have to do something with the door too also yes, up there. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so, those are the things we, yeah. we need to Okay, do. that's good. Okay, so, though. So that's it. Um, and I'll uh, get people. Okay, ask people and, and thank you for bringing it forward and probably more than likely you'll chair it. And, I'm glad we serve Well, so I'm, so. I'm very, you know, I want to thank you for all that you do do for the town. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, now I'd like to entertain a motion for the chair to sign um, the workers' comp insurance for FY18. And it went down a little bit in cost. Let's see, where was our cost? Okay. Last year it was 26575 and this year it's 26312 
So I'd like to entertain a motion to sign this contract with them. I'll make a motion to sign the contract. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And now our next one is the kickoff of open space plan and Mr. Snyder will address this. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. And so um, some months ago, Cindy Thompson contacted me as to uh, the expiring of the open space and recreational plan and that Cindy was doing some research as to what we could do to update that report. That report was done in 2010 and CMRPC was contracted at that time to do the report. So in the midst of Cindy talking with the different people about how to, how to get the um, report updated, she contacted CMRPC, Trish Settles, yeah. and Trish did some checking with DCR uh, Conservation uh, Resources. And <clears throat> in the midst of just figuring out how we might be able to do this, we've come on to a, a potential plan that has <clears throat> or little or no impact on the town other than volunteer hours. So what I'm proposing is that it, with the board's permission that we would work with Massachusetts Off Office of Public Pl Collaboration mm -hmm. to do the preliminary work. The, the part that DCR likes about what we propose or what we're proposing is generally what happens is you end up getting a bunch of people together, you write the report and then have people come in and say, what do you like about it or not? This particular process would in fact have sensing sessions. You'd have a steering committee through the summer You'd have some sensing sessions in the fall. Mm -hmm. You'd have a survey in the fall, which would then say constituents like REC, like uh, the Indian activity that yeah. we have, like the seniors, like the fishermen, like the Lake Association would all have inputs to this thing, where as you kick off the proce process, you would then have a basis of understanding of how you would want to change the, the, the plan that we've had. What, what this does is this lines us up where the Mass Office of Public Collaboration is not looking for money. They're looking to facilitate the process for us, yeah. the upfront process. What this would do is that this would put us, the, the town, in a position such that in February we could apply for a grant from DCR to actually do the work. We could then in turn use that grant money, $8,000 to then turn to CMRPC again to say, as you did the last time, here's the funding for technical support to write the report, such that what we would be hopeful of doing is to have that report in place by July of next year. Why is that important? That's the next grant cycle of DCR. So any grants that the town will be looking to, to fund through DCR or looking to DCR to funds, one, we have, we have to wait till April, uh, for July of next year anyway, but anything that needs a DCR sign-off doesn't get signed off until we get that report done anyway. So back to future grant applications that w require a DCR sign-off, we're in jeopardy. So what this does is it puts some people in place to get some things going for us, gets us in position to get a grant mm -hmm. February time frame, gets us in a position to have that report done such that we, in July, have the report in position so that we could secure grant funding. So I would propose that that be the process. Uh, again, the public collaboration people would be coming to town. They would look for a, a small steering committee to make sure that the right people are, are invited to the larger sessions. And the now like. they bring out like a steering committee or do we have no, to? No, they're, they're going to bring a facilitator. Oh, they are. Okay. Fil facilitator comes for free. Mm -hmm. Flip it around. What, does, what, what cost to the town? The cost to the town is volunteer hours. Okay so that those volunteers would participate. For example, the rec committee, yeah. you'd want a, want a representative of the okay. rec committee. Okay. I would want it because of the, the uh, activity at the campground, mm -hmm. I would want to be involved yeah. because that, that would be something that we would look to okay. fund. Separate from that, to jump forward to the Indian uh, activity, um, that because of what we've found, and, and it'll again be uh, cemented between now and September as far as what actually uh, we have as options. Um, we have, by having the open space plan in place, mm -hmm. it would give us the opportunity to go to 
uh, DCR in July for some funding, should we need funding for that activity. My thought is, because of the significance of what we've found, I would not almost want to go to the Park Service first, the federal first, but again, that's all for discussion. And when you say yeah. go to DCR in July, do you mean July 2018 or? 18, okay. yes. 2018. Yes, yes, so what we do is we get the, the re report yeah. in place, yeah. get the grant in February 18, so that we have uh, CMRC writing writing mm -hmm. the report. Yep. That uh, will have people come in, verify that what we, what we learned earlier was what we yeah. want to say, and then between February and July to get the report done. That sounds, that sounds good, all the grants. And, you know, I thank you for, you know, you're always so Amazing. willing to help out with all of our grants, and it's very much appreciated. Yeah. Well, this one goes to Cindy. She she but prodded still, me I mean, along. You've helped and, out with a lot of our grants yep. too. You've yep. got them, and Cindy does a lot of work on them also. Yep, it's, and it's good work in this particular yeah, case. Work. Okay, well, I'd like to entertain a motion. To accept I'd like that. to give that motion. And I will certainly second that motion. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Our next one is to entertain a motion to invite three finalist candidates to be interviewed for the treasurer's position. And I've looked through them. I'm sure everybody else has. And I have three that I would like to bring in. Compare notes. Okay. I would like to, can we mention names, if, even though they're not here? Or? Uh, uh, we, can, we can mention names. We can mention names. Oh, yeah. we can mention, okay, I would like to bring in um, Nancy Teller. That's fine. Nancy Temper. And I would like to bring in Lanny Krista, I think you say yeah, Lanny's name. I agree. Yeah. And Monica Redman. I agree. I'd like to bring in the three of those because I think I would, if possible, I would like to see somebody in place by July 1st. I would too. Because I think it's important, you know, that we have somebody in. Beth, how about you? I don't recall getting Monica's um, resume. It's in there now. It's in there. I did not get by to pick up yeah. right that, before that, the meeting, the so do you mind if I review, review nope. that nope. first? No, nope. no. Nope. I had checked. She's got the Vader stuff. That was what I. Yeah. That was the piece that I had impressed checked me. On, we had one from Warren. Yes. And I checked on her. And um, she was, well, the treasurer had um, left and they had reappointed her until the next election. And she hadn't, she didn't get in at the election. But, you know, she was in training. You know, so uh, that's why I really didn't, you know, pick her out. Yeah, I agree. Um, uh, quick question about process, because I'm not used to, uh, I'll be very frank, in, the, in, in my hiring experience, usually we would do some form of, of phone screen or interaction with people before we actually down select that far. Um, I, is this typically how you've done it in the you past? You do these and then you do the phone. Yeah, the phone is yeah. The, yeah. The it's the three of us, because when we hired the accountant, that's what we did. We picked up, you know, we did up our own questions that we wanted to ask them. And then, you know, then we did the phone calling to ask on the people, and then we decided, and then we made our decision, and then we offered them the position. Okay. So I would I would concur on Monica Redman. Mm -hmm. I would concur on Lonnie. I, the one person with mostly private experience that looked kind of interesting was Holly Reed. Um, from a standpoint of Holly Reed. Um, Holly Reed, or was it the other? Hold on a second. Hmm. Yeah, I think it was Holly Reed was the person who, from a private sector, looked like at least from a standpoint of the um, understanding the the fundamental banking portion of yeah. the uh, of the position. I thought she was pretty strong. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, Did you have my concern yeah. with that, yeah. Beth, uh, then yeah. my concern with the banking business uh, is that there were several of them that had banking yeah. business and the like. Right. And the municipal is, is, is the right. issue of yeah. if they had some background with municipal, it would be fine. It would be right. fine. But uh, and yeah, again, I, was, that's, I was looking at the major of pre law and figuring that if if, if they it had a learning curve, they'd have the skill set to potentially. Yeah overcome that curve. Yeah. But, um, 
But the three of them, though, we have picked do have the municipal experience, and that's really what we need is someone with the municipal, municipal experience to, you to know, really do the position. Do, well, to come in quite, quite honestly to be in a rapid learning curve. Yeah, they just, yeah. Um, Okay. Well, we Could, can we expand it to four and just you know, does it hurt, does it hurt us in any way to expand to a fourth and well, consider it? Carrie, what would you like to say? The Holly Reed person, I think that's a person who had bank experience with you today, so it was very minimal short term. Um, no, down. Well, looks like it's eight okay. years total experience, six of them in a fairly responsible position. It looks like. No, it says December 2012 on the... No, again, of, of those with commercial background, she was certainly... The strongest. The strongest of yeah. that. And I just, because of the computer stuff that we have to go through, I just... Yeah. I just right. I'm just thinking that that's, that's a learning curve that... Oh. If we could avoid, that would be helpful. Because I know, but we the took a chance on Carrie, and that's been a good bet. So. I know, that's, that's also true. <laughs> yeah, but the three, though, I mean, that we do have, they all have the experience with VEDA. Well, could we just back to, back to we, two, two of three? Yeah, mm -hmm. we Of the agree. three, we agree. And yeah. what we could do is do it in a series where you go this way and then make a decision to whether you do a third or fourth. Okay. okay. All right. Sure. Okay. And then just go one, two, three, and then this would be four. Yeah. And right. do you if take, we decide that we want to bring her in. After, or through the interview process, yeah. decide whether or not yeah. you'd want to bring in a fourth. Okay. Because I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay. Because, you know, we did have, like, um, Mr. Arsenal from West Brookfield, but, I mean, he would just come in on, like, an interim basis, and I would, I would really want to see somebody come into the position and stay. and stay in the position instead of having someone in an interim and then ha have to go all back out right. again. Well, one thing I, I would like to ask procedural-wise, because I think one of the challenges we've had frequently has been maintaining a funnel of candidates for positions like the, the accountant's clerk position has been vacant since it was created. Um, I, separate of the process for actually filling the treasurer, mm -hmm. I'd like to propose that um, we formally notify people, like if they're going to be brought in for an interview or not. But even if they are not going to be brought in for an interview, that we um, communicate with them and, and ask them if they want to be maintained on file for future positions. Oh, we usually do that. Okay. We do that. Um, we will always send them out a letter thanking them, you know for applying for the position and we right. would keep them for future. But if we have currently uh, vacant positions, like uh, my understanding is the planning board m might have somebody to fill their position, but say for instance, that doesn't get filled immediately, we could actually include with the letter a list of positions, including say the yeah. accountant clerk position okay. and say, hey, do you want consideration for this other position? Yeah. And I think that would just give us some momentum for actually achieving the level of service that we want to for the town. Does that sound like a, something like yeah. that would be a good process? Yeah. Helpful. Okay. Help. It, Karen, if you want any help drafting that, sure. I'd be happy to help you with it. Now, did you want to bring up something here? I just, back to Mr. Arsenal and his availability and the like. That's less than half time. What what's available yep. to to yep. us? Yep. So that on the flip side, back to the best earlier comment, if we were to need somebody for part time yeah. to support, he does have background to do oh, that. Oh yes, I've but, talked to um. I know the selectmen over in West Brookfield. I've already talked yep. to them, and they say he's he's excellent. He's very yeah. good. Yeah, and, and that was the only thought is that it would yeah. be less than half time, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, because when you're <clears throat> when you're retired, you can only put in. 960 60. hours. Yeah. That's all I can put in. So that's basically about a little under 20 hours a week. Correct. That's all I can do. Okay, okay so I'll have a motion to um, to call to call the three, three and, and, we'll and then we'll decide on the four. Yeah. And then we'll decide on the four. Okay. Okay. I'll I, I, that. Okay. Any, yep. Any discussion on that? Good plan. Okay. Okay. Now, do we want to bring them in, say, um, next week? Or sooner? Next. Well, you're not meeting again on the 20th, but we can, I can, we'll meeting for next week. Okay, well, let's see next week. What we got here? Some next week. Oh, by the way, my modem died, so anybody trying to communicate with me is very difficult. Okay. 
I have a spare. <laughs> the guy's coming tomorrow. Okay. I, I pray <laughs> that we're back in I service always, tomorrow. Okay. I always keep a spare. Yeah. Well, it died today. So, would we want to bring them in? Um, Can we do the 8th already or no? Would, when? The 8th. This Thursday? Uh, or no. too much? No, too much. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to be I'm going to be coming back from New Hampshire, and it would well, be a real I'm tight one, even for six thirty. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was really in a rush to get the position filled. There's no way you could do something maybe this week or maybe Friday well, morning. Well, oh, well, you no, know what? Actually, no. Friday no, morning I'm, is really. I think that's kind of. Yeah, that's a rush on. Well, that's you know, a rush because you know what, Thursday. Town. Well, Thursday night, if we make it, it has to be for after seven o'clock. But you can I post it like right now. Post it right no. now. No. Yeah. Why it's don't we? Why don't we try maybe? How about next Monday evening? Yep. How's that sound? The twelfth. Karen, are you well, that, free? That's up to you. I'm free. I, like I said, I just know that Holly was enough. She hoped to have someone in place I, by I, Monday. Well, <laughs> well, the thing is, True. though, I mean, it still gives us time. To get somebody in place because if they if they are already working right now they'd like have to give you know say a, a week or two weeks notice at least two probably okay yeah, and, and and frankly honestly even though these look like outstanding quality candidates we we could make the offer contingent on checking references and background checks oh, sure. yeah. but, but we need to make sure we do the references and do the background Absolutely. checks. Oh, we do. Yeah, yep. we do that. Yep. Yep. Well, I understand that. We've just tripped over it in the past as an organization. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. No. But again, you But I could do Monday. I can make Monday work. Monday? Do we want to say maybe start at um, 6 o'clock and give them all like a 15 or 20 minute interview? That we used... We did a half hour last did time. Did we do a half yeah. hour? Yeah, we did a half hour. Yeah, we want at least a half okay, hour. Okay, so we start at 6, 6, and then 6.30 six, six and 7. seven. Okay. And then if you want to call each of them and I ask know. them if they can come in. All right. So that's good to everyone? Yep. And then we can probably, you know, think of some questions, you know, that we'd like to ask them. You know, during the week. Okay. <clears throat> do we want to do, because I want to bring up some more things with town meeting. Do we want to take and um, skip over and go on to seven and eight and nine? Right. Is that all right? Yep. All right. Okay, I'd like to entertain a motion to sign cemetery deeds for lot 69, lot, what is that, 31B? And 71. I'll make that motion. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. You did. I did. My Quite all right. Too, too quick tonight. Okay. All right. Now I'd like to entertain a motion to allow um, Herb Chafee to carry over 12 days of vacation time until FY18. And also a motion to carry over um, Cindy Thompson to carry over 54 and a half hours of vacation time into fiscal 18. No, and, and they will try to use these up by the end of December. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then on the other. Okay. Um, okay. And just, and I probably should have mentioned this in the discussion prior to the to the I um, do we want to take it back to the personnel committee to get recommendations about standardizing the policy about vacation carryover to help people kind of plan their I don't know Mary Lou what do you think uh, 
Well, I, I think in some cases it depends on what happens during the year. Yeah. They may have all the good intentions of using it within the time period, but things come up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's what so, it is. You know, Mr. Like um, Herbert talked to me about this today. You know, there's different things that come up during the year, and this is why he has to postpone them. And same with Cindy. Right. I understand that. I don't have a problem with carrying it over. It's it's more so that they don't have the uncertainty of whether it can be carried over or not and, and perhaps setting some, some clear guidelines for it. That's all. Well I'm sure when we get our when we, we get the uh, new policy book in yeah. we'll have we'll put that involved with it. Right. So, we have, yeah, I'm sorry, so just a thought. I mean we have the money now to yeah. do the HR stuff. Mm -hmm. That that is the yeah. primary goal of that money. So yeah. it makes sense to Absolutely. tie it together. Yeah. Right, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, now we have, I'd like to entertain a motion to sign some wa wage authorizations. Uh, these are for the fire department, and it's uh, the first one is Jay Haley, and it's for the new hire, and it will be uh, $12 for training. Make, I'll make that motion. Oh, Second. Okay. And then I probably should have asked for all of oh, them yes, at one so time. Okay, and the next one is for Aaron Rice. And it's the same um, hourly pay of $12 an hour for training. And our third one is John Rose for the um, $12. I'll make the motion for all three. Okay, any discussion on any of these? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, you don't want that one. No. Want this one. Sorry. She's stealing my agenda. Oh, she's so stealing okay. your agenda. It's just payback for sliding the D. I I know, I know. Kids these so I'll days. Take, take three back. I know. Old guys. Okay. Okay. So that's all set on the other. Okay. And now for correspondence, we're going to go on. Okay, we have... Um, Okay, and this one came from, from Beth, and she wants to know what we can do to begin the process to establish another memorial monument in the Brookfield Town Common for those who served in the more recent conflicts. We, we appear to be out of space on the current monuments, and we've had three major conflicts. The Gulf, Iraq, and Afghanistan wars, whatever the proper name is for those, since the close of the Vietnam conflict, the last covered by our current, current memorial. It would seem appropriate to add a new structure with plaques commemorating those conflicts at another corner of the town common. Simple plaques such as we currently have for Vietnam would be appropriate. However, we should commemorate the names of any Brookfield Towns folks lost, if any. And ideally, we could put this motion in for a time completion and dedication at the 200, I mean, 2018 Memorial Day celebration. Can I call on you as my elected representative to champion this project? Respectfully, Mark E. Moore. And he wrote that to Beth. Yes, ma'am. So uh, he approached me after the uh, uh, memorial uh, recognition. Um, I believe he himself is a um, Iraq One mm -hmm. veteran, um, and and he's just. And it's something that I, I had noted myself, was that a lot of the, the post-Vietnam conflicts isn't currently represented, and I know we have people in town that have served. So okay. um, I, I think what we'd be looking for is something similar to volunteers that, that worked on the bridge committee, where mm -hmm. we put together a committee, come okay. up with a proposal for design, see if we can find you know, potentially some folks to sponsor it as well, um, and then come, come forward with a presentation. So. Um, if everybody's kind of open to that, then um, 
we'll probably do something similar to what we're doing with the town hall committee. I'll draft up a charter for the next meeting, and we can at least put some inquiries out there if folks would be interested in serving and determining what we can do and how we can do it. So we would like to form like a new memorial committee. Correct. And we can probably use the same. Didn't we have a charge for the memorial committee? We did. We did that would be great. We, we did could. have one. Okay, well, I'd like to mm, entertain a motion to form a new memorial committee. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. And any discussion? Oh, All great. in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, and our next one is from um, Jeff Landine. And he says, the Recreation Committee would like the following read into the record if possible at the next meeting. On behalf of the Brook Brookfield Recreation Committee, we would like to recognize the work of Herb Chafee and the Highway Department on the maintenance of the Lewis Field and specifically the baseball and soccer fields. We have received multiple comments on the quality and appearance of the fields from town residents and visiting teams. Much of this is attributable to the hard work that Herb and his crew put in. We have relayed our thank yous to Herb directly, but wanted to be sure that this was on the selectman's radar and read in the record form and read into the record formally. Regards, Jeff Landine, Chairman of the Brookfield Rep. Congratulations. Well, congratulations, Herb. That's thank nice. Thank you, sir. It's very nice. If it stops raining, it'll be better. <laughs> yeah. Talk about any fields. All right. My goodness. Okay, now we're going to go, now we are going to go back to the town meeting, town warrant, president. Um, Could, you have could I just plug in a note? Oh, sure. On the next agenda, there will be a, uh, an approval, a request for approval to pay phase two of the mass, uh, UMass, the uh, okay. um, Mass Historic uh, Commission activity. Okay. Um, the work, the phase two report was submitted to the state on Friday. And we should hear in about a week as to their approval, and then we end up getting the invoice. Okay. So we'll the next put time. that on the next one. Yep, okay. the next time. Okay, let me look for my folder here where it said to ratify. I don't seem to have it. Did I pass it over? Yeah, you did. No, keep going back. No. No, that's not it. You had it, I can swear. I know I had it here. And you didn't give it to me, so I think you're good. You think it might be the book? No, keep going. It's one of those. No? There you go. Let's do that one right. No, that's the uh, insurance one, and where that's the monthly reports. Where did it go? Yeah, where did it go? Oh, here. No, what's this one? It's right here. I put it up there. <laughs> okay. All righty. Okay. We were looking over, so um, I would like to move that the board ratify its vote taken on May 31st to reopen the annual town meeting wa warrant solely for the purposes of adopting and, and accepting any changes recommend, recommended by town council and to amend the warrant incorporating town council changes. I'll make that motion. Okay. Yeah. Second. Okay, discussion? We'll uh, are we okay to do that given that the warrant's been published? Oh, yeah, this is just basically the motions we're going to go over. And we really, oh, okay, we really, got it. We really well, did it last time, yeah. too. This is just an extra measure. This is just an extra measure. Okay, so sure it's just to discuss the motion. Oh, no, no, we're not, no, we're not going to change gonna anything. It's just, anything. we're just okay. going to go over where, you know, the different monies are coming yeah, from and things like that. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we worked with Carrie this afternoon on these, Karen and I, and for the special, We've decided that those wages could come out of the, um, out of the, uh, okay. One of them will come out of the consulting services. That's Article 1. Yep. Article 2 is municipal fuel. We'll take that out of that one. And um, on Article 3, the transfer of that also will come municipal fuel. 4, municipal fuel, and Article 5. 
And that leaves us, what did we say that I left a balance? 3, yeah. yeah. And we think that, and Karen feels that that's good, she'll have enough money in, and in okay. case she does, and, then, and if she does run low, we could probably always go to the reserve fund to get the rest of the money. Is that all right with you, Dave? Okay. All right. And now here for the annual. Okay. All right. Here. I want to make a statement. I mean, about how on our free cash, you know, not being certified, and how the selectmen have unanimously agreed to pass over a majority of the money articles to the annual town and revisit them at the fall, in the fall. And I probably will have more to say on that because on. Thursday, I'm meeting with Kerry and um, a representative for, from the VADAR and also from the Department of Revenue. And so, you know, we'll have more of a clearer picture of what's going on there. Excellent. I would recommend two things be included in the statement that you do up front because they're generally questions. Uh, the first one would be um, make sure that we know firmly what our stabilization number is. Oh, sure. Uh, and the second one being that we know what our um, I like to call it functional levy limit because it's it's the levy uh, it's the tax levy limit yeah. plus yeah, the sure cherry sheet that. and all right. of that yeah we we just, we, we just to be involved. yeah a absolutely yeah, I, just, I, I I totally understand that but uh, um, you know it's I think that that piece of information is important because then people can can get a good visual on where we stand with regards to the levy limit on the raise and appropriate side knowing that we don't have free cash to work with. And that way people understand kind of the, the true picture. So that'd be fabulous. No, we, we had discussed those this afternoon also. Okay. We well, had met. And, and clearly, you know, we can't both be part of the conversation yeah. outside of here. Oh, so I, I just have to ask that. the question. That's all. Okay. Let me see. Where was my, I had brought up tonight too, where we had discussed some things. Okay. It's right here. All right. All righty. Okay. Right. Article two. I guess. Article two. That was a question on there. Now it. Um, you know how we had did the column where the people had requested their right. budgets, and we kind of went along with that. Exactly. And the advisory board hadn't. So. Um, where this usually states, it says usually states advisory committee recommendations. Should we leave that in there or should we take that out? Well, we agreed to read down through the budget line, so it, it, I think we leave it out. Yeah. Or you could say it's shown in the fiscal year 18 yes. budget request yes. if, you're, if you're granting all the requests. Yeah, because yeah. that's what we did. Yeah, that's what we did. Okay, so yeah, so we just scratched okay. the advisory comment. Yeah. So I just wanted to check that out with everybody. Yep. That's how you yep. want it to read? Yeah, mm -hmm. request. request. Okay. Yep. All righty. And then on Article 11. Oh, um, I'm waiting for Sharon. For that. Sharon. As soon as we get that sum. I know she we do not know if we will have a total. We're still looking into whether or not we actually had the payments that were received from charter allocated to the correct accounts Okay. Uh, in the past. And if not, there is a provision in parentheses to put a phrase rather than a number there. In other words, the, the balance of the combined um, of the combined cable access accounts as of the close of fiscal 2017. That, yeah, that would be a better yeah. way to phrase it, actually. Yeah. Because, yeah, that would I be. I mean, any month I'll give you if we spend anything between now and then, that amount is going to that. change anyway. Okay, I, I yep. like that language. Yeah. Yep. Me too. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> and then on to um, Article 12 here. This was something that uh, Carrie had questioned here. Um, we were going to talk about the transferring 15,000. This was on the plowing of the private roads. And now that's something. Well, so we already probably have to be, it would probably, if, it, if we make the motion at all, we would have to do raise and appropriate. No, uh, well, no, that's, no, the question. no that's what the question. Line item budgeted for a dollar. Yeah, we yeah. already have. So what we have to do with this one is that, and Beth, it probably ought to be me, not you, yeah. and that what it will be that I would motion to uh, 
pass over this article. And in, in passing over, I will explain why we had this here in the first place. Sure. So I, I will okay, motion. So basically have the motion read. Yeah. read. We'll read it. I move 15,000, but then you're, it's going to be passed over. And I'm going to motion to pass over. And then you'll just like to explain the reason and I will explain why it was in. Exactly. Okay, so you're going to do this. Right, so do you want to swap 11 and 12 yeah. then? <clears throat> sure. Let me ask you something about 12. I have to have this place to transfer from just to have just to have the dollar there. Well, isn't the dollar amount right. though in? It's well, that's in the line item. That. Right, but I'm saying so. Well, how do you want that article to read? To for a buck. Make it a dollar. And then, well, well our issue is that yeah. the dollar's already on another page. Yeah, the dollar is already on. Well, yeah. right, but, but the article you said to leave it reading. Vote to transfer or, or raise an appropriate whatever the fifteen thousand. If we leave it like that, we have to just have it. Even though you're going to pass over it, usually you read it and then pass it. Yeah, read it. And then so pass. I just want to make sure it's worded correctly. Herb or Carrie, do you have any input on this? I'm sorry, I could not hear the question. Do you have any input on this? Where I mean, we are going to like pass <coughs> over it. But Karen's saying that we should have something that says where the 15000 is coming from for the motion. Well, why couldn't you just make the motion about the dollar and then in the handout that everyone gets, it says the 15, it says 15000 you know, it explains it, basically. Well, there's only a, do a dollar in the line item budget approved. Right, right, but I know yep. that Herb, you wanted that fifteen thousand to stay in the article, that figure, correct? Because I called and that's what Cindy yes. said. Yes. So we're trying to figure out how to make it work, even though you didn't pass over it. How to word it? Uh, I mean, if you if you if you phrase it as raise and appropriate, okay. it, even just doing the rough numbers, not that we want to vote it in, but we could vote it in. But the money is already in the snow and uh, ice I, account. I understand it. I understand that and we're going to have that discussion on the floor. So the likelihood of people getting hard headed and voting yes is, is relatively low so long as we do a good job of communicating. Okay. Right. But in part it's also to understand why we have the money and why we have the overruns that we do in snow and ice. And in part it's because of, of of the number of miles we have that includes private roads that are generally okay. narrow and hard to plow and yep. you know all okay. of those things so um we'll do raise and appropriate That's so perfect. just do raise and appropriate, appropriate. So because because we're, we're okay. going to have the headspace even on yeah. on rough numbers yeah. Yeah. There, there's the room to, to yeah. put it there okay yep all right all right now we'll move on to article 13. Uh, well, Brenda's checking yeah. to see with the trustees to see if we can wait until fall i'm not going to have an answer until at least tomorrow because this would have had to go, we were talking, this probably would have had to go raise and appropriate. Right. And so she's going to check to see if we can pass this over to the fall. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, and then also on Article 16 here, yep. um, I think we should probably pass over that also until the fall, till we know, you know, what what better we know about our financial situation. Yep. And a lot of these, I also gave you the CIPC recommendations with this packet, and that's, yeah. you know, a lot of these, you know, along with what they wanted, yeah. what they recommended. All right. Okay, now we're on to um, 13. Okay. Uh, you want 17? 17. Oh, 17, I'm sorry. Okay, um, also, I feel that we should also pass over this one yeah. until the fall. Also. Exactly. Okay. Do we, can we set back to 16? Do we really want to pass over that one until fall? Because it might be difficult to get those installed come wintertime, and it's a relatively small dollar article. That would be raised and appropriate. Right. So is that, do we want to do that? We have to, you know, see what our levy limit is and everything. I'd hang tight. I mean, we've had, we had the letter from the capital improvement, yeah. and, and we can put polls in. And, I mean, okay. yeah. that's fine. They had all they had said right here if um, the money is available. Right. But we really don't have the money available yeah. well, until until we verify. Until we do, we verify. Yeah. Okay. Now it's seventeen. Also, now we go. Up. That was for thirteen thousand fifty dollars for the design of constructing and improvements over at the fire. 
Look, he did want that to be raised and appropriate. I did talk to him. <sighs> he well, didn't want you to pass all over. Sorry, well, if we don't have the money. Yeah. We don't have verification. If we don't have verification, I don't think we should okay. do, do this. Right. Well, see how you're meeting well, on Thursday. Yeah, let's see what Thursday when you, you all come up with what's available, even yeah. without free cash. That's really going to be the deciding factor. Okay, and then Article 18 was the same thing. That, um, that we're passing over. We're going to sure. pass that over, and that was recommended also by the Capital Improvement Committee that right. we pass that one over. Yeah. All right, and then now this is another one that um, Carrie and I and, and Karen had talked about this morning, uh, with this, this afternoon, I mean, with the, the 15000 Peter asked for this every year, this, the same amount of money. So Kerry was wondering why we couldn't put into a line item on, under his asset repair and replace. Do, 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 do. It already is a line item. Cause so he, I, I just don't understand why, that, why they're asking for so much more when he's already should be requesting that in his budget. So there's there's a couple of different reasons for that, and we've we've actually gone through that that You're cycle at least once before. Yep. Um, and the the reason for it is that sometimes the fiscal year doesn't align with the actual actual expiration dates on the equipment. And if I recall properly from the joint budget discussion with the AC next year, we'll be looking at about half of that based on what the replacement cycle is with the equipment. It's so one of the things CIPC is going to work with that particular department on is getting a more formal replacement schedule in place so we've got better forward looking of exactly what we need to allocate. But by doing it as a warrant article versus it as a, as a budgetary line item, we are not restricted by the fiscal year. So if, if we could, if we needed to either to put off some of the purchase or else maintain that allocation year over year because it's a warrant article the funds would actually carry over into the following year and not necessarily be turned back so so historically that's how we've managed that in order to actually base it off of like for instance we're signing this for uh, several new firefighters if they don't have the a current a current quantity of tanks appropriate for them then if we had carried over funds from a prior year, we would be able to use that. Or if we were signing this right after the beginning of the year and we had budgeted a lower level. So it gives them that flexibility where you don't have predictability for when you have volunteers that are gonna actually need the equipment. So there's okay. some good reasons to do it as a, uh, this particular piece of it as a warrant article. Okay. The next one here is um, article 20. And uh, Karen talked to Peter, and he doesn't want this um, passed over. But the um, C CIP committee said, you know, if money is available, but we don't know what the money would be available, so I think we should wait on this one also. So, I don't so, know why so. he already has one, why it's the need to have another one right off. Probably because when you have a structure fire, you frequently have two or more teams going in. Yep. Uh, and it doesn't happen very frequently, but the times that it does, it's a genuine safety issue for the guys involved in going in. So the only the only thought, though, is that if you mm. feel uncomfortable after Thursday, mm. then we would definitely oh, cool. pass over. Okay. But I, I, I would tie 17 and 20 together to your conversation and where you think you end. Yeah, and then this would probably be another one we'd have to raise an appropriate. Right, that's why I'm saying One other okay. problem is the, these have got to go. Everything has to go to Michelle. Yeah, everything's got to go. Tomorrow, but that's yeah. not going to happen now. I have to wait till after Thursday. We mm. just have to wait, I guess. Um, I did look at his expense accounts and where they currently stand, and I'm almost wondering if he doesn't have enough money in his budget left from this year. To just purchase that. He just that. purchased this item um, with his fiscal 17 funds. So let's go that so, way then. Yeah. I'll, I'll discuss this with him tomorrow. Yeah, please do. And okay. is there is there a re, is there a current variance report available for where we stand? Um, there is one, but I have a warrant in my desk that just that is to be posted. Okay. But I did make um, I did deduct those expenses from his balances. So I'll go over with him. Um, where his expenses stand and see if we can't squeak it into his budget 
expenses for 17. Yeah, that would be good because I know that um, also he was looking at, um, I know we had had some long discussions about the, the fire cabinets as well. Um, and there's one that a member of the advisory found uh, open market uh, used that's next town over that Peter was going to take a look at to see if it would meet the needs of the fire department. Um, and I think we were looking at trying to purchase it with his, this, what's remaining in this year's funds. To, I'll, I'll check with him. Yeah. yeah, so if you, could, if you could close that loop with him, that would be great. And it, that's only going to be about 500 of what he's got remaining. Okay. But that would be a, a chunk of it. Yeah, should probably still be okay. Okay. And now we'll skip down here to um, Article 25. And we had talked to Herb, and he says we could pass this over also until the fall. Okay. And now we want to talk. Okay, 24 is going to be raised and appropriate. Too. Okay, yeah. That? Yeah, that's going to, 24 is going to be raised and appropriate for this. Because this is something that is needed, wrote. Because we talked to Herb about this also. Okay, and now on Article 25, yeah, 25, we're going to pass over. Article 26, uh, Herb said that he would like to talk about that with us tonight because uh, he doesn't want this passed over. He says because if the truck doesn't pass inspection in October, we will be down one truck. So, Herb, if you'd like to come up or sit where you are and discuss this with us. Well, the truck's not going to pass yeah. inspection. Yeah. Well, it's it's a questionable that it's not going to pass yeah. inspection. It does have a issue with the truck, and I really don't want to say what it is over the year and stuff, yeah. because mm -hmm. if I do say something, I'm going to have to pull the truck off the road. Yeah. How's that? Simple as that. And so this truck, this it's not fixable, it wouldn't go? I, you're not supposed to do certain things to vehicles. Okay because you can get in trouble for it. I know some other towns do do that, and to me that's a liability. Okay. So rates inappropriate. Yeah. No, well we care. If the town's yeah. people vote no against it, and they vote no against it, that's what I mean. Okay. You know, and we're if, down a truck if, if we don't. If the truck does not pass inspection come October, then we're down, down that yeah. gate. Yeah, or from stabilization, because I think we yeah. were at like that's five, what I we, talked we, to we were at I talked to Carrie, that's what we discussed this afternoon, and Carrie thought that we, both of us thought it would be good to take it out of stabilization. Mm -hmm. We needed two-thirds vote. And didn't you say that stabilization was 600 and some odd? Yeah, yeah, so if we just take this out of it, it wouldn't affect right. so, it too yeah, much. Yeah, we're, we're at a high enough percentage yeah. of our operating budget that it's yeah. not an unwise thing no. to do. The only um, thing I might suggest that if we do take it from stabilization is put it back. When we can, yeah. When we have the money. Yeah, if we can put the money back in. There is some other monies that are out there right now that's going to be uh, certified and everything else. Mm -hmm. And when that stuff does get done, I, I'm making the recommendation that the money gets put back where it belongs. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll support that. I'll support Me I'll too. Support that. Okay. okay, now here on um, Article 27. Now this is something we have to do also the six thousand to purchase the welding and yeah, air that has, that has to be done too. So we'll do that with a raising appropriate. Do you do you have an actual quote on the uh, welding air recycler? I don't have a written quote. I had a verbal from uh, air gas. Okay. Can you send me the specs on it? Yeah, I got a I got a book. Either that or either either either, right either ask air gas to send you a written quote. Yeah. Which they ought to be a, usually yeah. you ask them for a quote, you'll have it in like 24 hours. Okay. Um, ask them for a quote so that if nothing else, we can get the specs off of their quote and roll it through a couple of other options. All right. Sure. Okay. That way, you know, if we if we find that we can can beat their price, then at least we'll we'll know if we have some headspace there. Well, you probably can beat their price if you go online someplace. And no, I'm I'm thinking more vendors. I'm I'm thinking more I'm thinking more of vendors. actual construction vendors that, that do that type of work. Oh, okay. So, no, I know you can shop it online and be virtually anything, and then you get what you, you get what, what you get. Yeah. yeah, so. So this would be another reason appropriate because we do need this. 
Yeah. It would, and and so so we'll have a different figure then, right. possibly than and, the six thousand. And I know I had well, it, it. I think if we budgeted the six thousand, there's a potential we could save the money in the in the procurement and acquisition acquisition stages. In, in particular, we we may be able to to do some secondary market shopping for mm -hmm. a, an appropriate flammable liquids cabinet. Um, I did get the question posed to me by a member of the advisory committee as to why we would need a flammables cabinet right down close to where we actually have our fuel. And the, the short answer mm -hmm. is is that the fuel we use in the vehicles and that we buy bulk is not the fuel that we use in our small yeah. hand equipment. And if we use the stuff with ethanol that we get for the over-the-road vehicles, we actually mm -hmm. start burning through the motors on things like weed whackers and chainsaws and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, that's why we actually need that storage cabinet, even though it's co-located with our fuel, because we don't pay the extra money to have the fuel that, mm -hmm. that doesn't have ethanol in it. Okay. Right. All right. All right. All right. So I'm going to leave it at 6,000. Leave it at 6,000. Yeah. yeah, so leave it there. We don't need to bring it up any, because we may have solved the, the, the needs of the fire department. OK, next one here is um, Article 28. This is one that. Um, we discussed too also with Carrie. Uh, this is on as a as an article and then it also is on in the line items and it's the same thing. So do we need to have it on twice? Well here's the, the problem is that the original paperwork that the Highway Department submitted did not include the thirty four seventy. So that's what the current um, budget does not reflect. So from what I'm gathering from her, he's looking for an increase not only to cover her wages, but also to cover her hours. Well, this was... Yes. This was one, this is, if you want to look at it, Carrie, yeah, this her, was... What, what her... Uh, her. Oh, he has a copy, too? That was wasn't that was the figure though. I'm pretty sure in the budget. So this 3470 will cover all of the the, the new fiscal year differences. Yes. Yeah. The 2018. Yes. Yeah. This can't include. This can't be included. Right. Okay. Okay. Keep messing up on that. So even though it is in the line item, we're going to do it on an article also. So this is okay as written? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they need okay. to, yeah, that needs to be increased. Okay. But the hours have to be approved before then, so. Yeah, all right. Okay. Now, the next one we had talked on, are we all finished there with 28? Does yep. anybody have any questions on it? Okay, now we'll move on to 29. And uh, we talked to the chief. And he said that we can pass over this also until the fall. As long as he's sure okay. it's going to be put on yeah. in the fall. Oh, we'll put it on in the fall. We already okay. told him. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, now this is Article 30, and this is um, another one here that we thought we'd discuss. Uh, this is for the to, to supply the highway employees, the three full-time, one seasonal, and two emergency operators with the uh, personal protection equipment. And that's going to be uh, $8,736. Yeah, if we want to do raise and appropriate on this one, on um, Carrie has some questions also on this. I was just curious as to what, um, how that dollar figure came, came to be, and did we discuss it in your um, expenses at all? No. No. Okay. So we want to do a raise and appropriate on this also, because we have to do it. Yes. And then, okay. And it's not the number. It's a, an improved number from what we had seen before. Yeah. Right. And and what's good about voting it as a warrant article again, if we shop it and we get it for less, we can, like say for instance, we have that eighty-seven hundred allocated. We appropriately monitor the procurement on it. Okay. Anything that's left, we could actually vote back out at the special in the fall. 
So we should try to shop it up front proactively, get everybody outfitted appropriately. Um, and then if there's, if there's a balance, we can either address it at the special or um, you know, address at the special meeting some other identified need of the town okay. at that point. So it's okay to okay. fund it when you just keep an eye on it. Madam Chairman, may I add something? Yes. A lot of that stuff in there has to be deciphered because a lot of that stuff is already in his budget. There's only a few things in there that's not in his operating budget right now. That, that figure is grossly very high. And we're going well, to have a breakdown at the town meeting when well, the time comes. Well, then it's good to have it as a separate yeah. warrant article instead of baking it into well, the expenses. Be, you should, if you're passing all the right? other stuff, you should pass over this one as well. Just to, just to clarify things, my budget does not specify safety equipment in, period. It's up to me to make sure that I get some of the guys some of the safety equipment because the town has never pushed the issue about safety equipment yeah. until the past few months. So that's why this article is here. We're going to go buy some stuff. Okay, Dave. But he's, he's in the, all these years, the vest and the coats are being cleaned. All this other basic small stuff, ad hats, it's all been coming out of his operating budget. It's all part of his budget. All this, all the small stuff, safety glasses, whatever they need. It's, out, it's they've been doing it for years. Now it's a big issue. They get more, 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 more. Dave, you're the one that created the issue, and I don't want to keep talking about it. This is what it is. Everybody wanted. So previously, to previously we weren't meant. Previously we were not mandating it. Now we That's are right. mandating it. So. So you want so a, if we're, an explanation of what it is, what we need. This is what it is. Efficiently. That's all. So it's in a separate account. The bonus of the separate account is the accountability of a separate account. So I think this addresses everybody's concerns. We ensure it's properly resourced. We can ensure it's properly controlled. If we want to put any type of special controls around the procurement of it, we can do that once we get past town meeting. Uh, and then that way we can ensure the appropriate level of accountability. I and think then, it's a win-win. And then if this does pass, the reason um, we had, um, we had passed a policy on this and then we, then we decided not to do the policy and because we wanted to make sure that this was passed at town meeting before we had the policy in place there's a liability if we don't do yeah, it yeah we have to have it okay and having it here is the best place yeah. to do that yep. to say for every, everyone that we are doing it yep okay okay so you're going to raise an appropriate raise an appropriate on that one also and then on Article 31, um, we had talked to um, Mike. Mike Sari, and he said we could pass over this also till, till the fall. And then on to Article 33, on to the chairlift, we thought possibly even pass over this until the fall also. So that's it. So um, i like to just entertain a motion that we can, uh, with all the ones that we discussed tonight, that we go along with what we talked about tonight. I'll make that motion. I'll oh, second. And any more discussion on it? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and now our next one is here. We're going to entertain, entertain a motion to enter into executive session under exemption number three and to reconvene an open session for adjournment only. Okay, and number three is to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body and the chair so declares. Can I make that motion? Okay. Um, Second. All right. Lincoln. Snyder. Okay. Pardon Lincoln, me. I. Snyder, I. Aye. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we're all set. And then we'll just come back in. We'll. Reconvene after. Yeah.